So this is a sculpture by Miko Kaufman. Um, and um, we were commissioned to remove all the copper sulfates off, copper sulfates off the surface. Uh, we do that with a process of uh, blasting the surface with walnut shells and a mixture of sand. Uh, once we remove all the copper sulfates, we clean the bronze, uh, and then we start the process of repatina. Patina is the process of actually heating the metal and using, using various um, combinations of chemicals to treat the metal and develop the desired uh, patina. Uh, in this case, we're doing a liver of sulfur. Uh, we'll do a rub out and bring some highlights back through the liver of sulfur, and then we'll do a ferric nitrate on top of that. Once those two processes are done, we neutralize the patina with a little bit of water, let that dry, and then we do three copious coats of Incrilac. Incrilac is the uh, recommended protectant for any and all exterior metals. Um, once the Incrilac is all dry, we go in with three um, copious coats of a Carnuba base wax. The wax protects the Incrilac, the Incrilac protects the patina and the bronze. And this should be an annual maintenance program with all exterior um, work such as this. Now, do you do a lot of work uh, with statues like this? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, this is, you know, spring and summer is our real busy season. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time out of the studio. We're a traditional sculpture studio, so we do a lot of commission work as well. But spring and summer, we're outside either restoring or maintaining our own works as well as other artists' works, as well as, um, you know, they might be architectural things, architectural embellishments on the sides of buildings that have long fallen off. We'll re recreate those in the studio and then um, put them back in place on the side of a building or, so, or something of that nature. Now, time-wise, how long does this uh, whole process take as far as time? So this one will take maybe three days. It's going pretty well, actually, right now. The bronze is cleaning up pretty well. It's a fairly new statue, so that's why the, um, the surface is cleaning up pretty quickly. And when they're a little bit older, sometimes the, sometimes the surface is a little more uh, resistant. You know, there's a, you know, there might be 80 years of copper sulfates built up, and dirt, and grime, so. But yeah, this is going pretty quick. And this uh, warm November weather must help a little bit, huh? Uh, it does, um, but uh, the, yeah, so yes, to answer your question, yes, but it's also kind of awakened some of the clients to um, have stuff done that we thought we were going to be doing in the spring of next year. So we're kind of like running around trying to squeeze in some pro like this one, and we have one in Northbridge now that we're going to try and squeeze in before we lose this weather. So, Well, keeping busy is always a good thing, right? Absolutely. All right, now you also worked on the fountain. Uh, it, the, it looks incredible. Uh, they got the flowers planted around it. Everybody loved it for the 300th anniversary. Uh, do you look at that fountain set and you're just proud of it because it, it looks so amazing? Yeah, it, it was, you know, what I really enjoyed about it was seeing everybody's, you know, reaction and, you know, everybody was really happy to have a piece of their history back. So doing a project like that is always really satisfying because, you know, you're, you're taking something that was, you know, kind of forgotten about for a really long time, bringing it in the studio, you're resurrecting it, and you're giving it back to a community. And so that's a really, yeah, it is very, very rewarding job to do.